Hey there everybody, Catalina and I, we just drove down here to just outside of Alcadones, Mexico, and we're getting ready to go on in to Mexico on foot to go to the doctor and the dentist. I'm going to the eye doctor. Oh, day I break these chains, I'm bound for the life of the simple things. Okay, so today I'm making sure that the grease is all packed on the uh, dolly wheels just so that we have everything ready to go when we're ready to get out of here also because we had gone ahead and uh, run the RV and there was a little bit of noise back in the hitch we got one of these Roadmaster quiet hitches here so now there's no play in this at all that should prevent the car and trailer from wiggling back and forth when you're up at highway speeds well even though it's considerably slowed down here in quartzite since the rv shows over and wrapped up there's still a lot of rvs out here just boondocking and hanging shows all done most of the flea markets out of here there's some there's a handful of folks still around but for the most part everybody's out of here as far as the commercial stuff is considered but there's still a whole bunch of rvs out here i wonder how long they're going to be here if it's one of those things kind of like us where we are just using up the time that we paid for uh where we are right now is la posa north so it's probably not like that they they just pay for a six month permit and then uh you get to camp out here as long as you want for the six months. Uh, the water and sewer and garbage facilities are available, but it's not hookups. Today, we are gonna have a shindig over here in Quartzsite. We invited a bunch of people that we hadn't been able to get together with yet over here and also a bunch of people that had invited us to go and do something with them and we just wanted to pay a thank you and everything and so this seemed like the best way to do it we got a little meal shinding going on and uh we're gonna have some hot dog beef hot dogs chopped up with a sauce and some veggies and stuff to put on hot dog buns rather than just a plain old hot dog and then uh, we're going to go ahead and have a fire and just chill out and hang out with everybody. I'm about ready to go in here to the, like the only real grocery store that Quartzsite has. Uh, there's a f family dollar or a general dollar store that has some groceries as well on a couple of aisles, but this is the only one here in Quartzsite that's a true grocery store. Let's go on in and check it out. Catalina said the produce here looks decent, which it does. See where we got the strawberries at. Where would I find the strawberries? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. There we are. Okay, that's all he's got until tomorrow. Those look a little bad. Bottom. All right. Let's go take a look at other things out here. See what else they got. Looks like we got a little deli. Decent meat selection. Well, it's nothing to get excited about, but you definitely can get what you need here. Oh, sorry, ma'am. There's your song. How's it going, eh? Hey. He's playing that just so it makes it on everybody else's YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to nail him for copyright. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have him for uh, economic advisor over here. <laughs> David gets to be economic advisor. 
Is Paul, what do you have to say? <laughs> what do you have to say, hey, Paul? We're having a great time here. <laughs> awesome. What do you have to say, Danny? I try to say as little as possible. <laughs> Not a true story. You should hear him on the CB. Life is good. This uh, strawberry mousse that Carolina made was uh, quite possibly the most delicious thing I've had. <laughs> That's bomb. It was actually made with real strawberries. I'm pretty sure, yeah. it's, I'm, pretty sure I'm gonna gain like five pounds from that little bowl. <laughs> what's, what's your channel name? Three Dogs Camping. Three dogs, yeah, three dogs camping. So only the dogs get to go camping? <laughs> More or less. I'm just kidding. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> oh, I'm being videoed without my sunglasses. Oh my God. So Andrew here is special ed. Special, I'm special ed. <laughs> he, I've known him for a couple of years, but I only ever saw his RV 10 days ago. <laughs> yeah, because I just bought it 10 days ago, actually. So I bought it down here in Quartzsite, Arizona. The rest of the time he was I'm faking, faking it. it. That's right. I just rent. I just rent them. Now, I'm, I'm, staying at, I'm staying at the Marriott in the Hilton most of the time when I see you. Because I like the Marriott. The yeah, so Marriott's very nice. I was wondering why you always came to visit me. <laughs> Showing up with a brand new Camaro convertible. Yeah. Eh, you know, yeah. I got to fake it until I make it, right? What's your channel name? Line screw one. Oh, I screwed that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Name's Matt. Hi, I'm Hi. Matt, and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, sorry, my bad. What? Hi, what Matt. was it? Hi, Matt. What do you want to say? N nothing much. Just, I'm enjoying life as being a nomad. I think he's getting a little nervous, so I'm gonna tell you what he told me earlier, that he loves being a full timer. I love it. And what did you say? When you first got here? I would never go back to the regular lifestyle. I think that's a cool statement. Oh, geez. <laughs> so, cat hair shirt so over here. I want to make sense. You're not, you don't work for any law enforcement, right? <laughs> not right now. <laughs> I, I, I have to leave that because apparently I'm very open to work types. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say? I have nothing to say. I declare the fifth. Hi, everybody. I'm Beach Cricket. Finally got to meet One Plus Estate. And I'm so glad to meet James and Catalina. It's been uh, a long time oh, wanting to do that. So, yeah. And having a good time at this invite. Thank you. Really? <laughs> what do you have to say? I've got nothing to say. That's not true. Right? I'm with this fellow over here. I like to say as little as possible. I believe that's true. <laughs> Mike, James. what's your channel name? Coach Toads. No, www.coachtoads.com. What's that about? <laughs> Slash Mike. What's that about? It's about two different families living in motorhomes. You know, just, that's cool. Doing their thing, working. And what's your name? Oh, that was my line. She just told me to shut the F up, guys. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I'm tripping over stuff over here. <laughs> and David took off just as I went to go get the camera, and he's spying on us. <laughs> we just drove down here to just outside of Alcadones, Mexico and we're getting ready to go on in to Mexico on foot to go to the doctor and the dentist. I'm going to the eye doctor. This parking lot here that you see all around me is just before you actually get to the border crossing and it costs six bucks to park in here. We were told that it's better to do it here on this side park here and then walk across than it is to try to take a vehicle across. So that's what we're in the process of doing right now. Right now we're just about ready to cross the border on foot here. The border crossings right up here. There's supposed to be some turnstiles. I've never done this before on foot. So this is kind of interesting. So this is such a big deal over here in Mexico in Alcadones that uh, you have people 
lining along the streets that are calling out uh, for different like dentists and different optometrist outfits and everything else so it's pretty, pretty interesting and uh, you got you got all these outfits where you can shop around for meds and everything else so much more of a open market sort of a healthcare system so we got a whole crew here <laughs> look at the cute doggies huh cute doggies yeah Is your doggies? <laughs> so, I think we found the optic, the eye doctor. This trip ended up being kind of not so fruitful for me completely. Uh, it was good and bad, but the eye doctor thing ended up being a flop for me. They're not able to get the kind of lenses that I need in Mexico. And it would just, they'd have to be basically importing lenses from, from uh, the States. And, you know, it's not going to it's not gonna be a <laughs> a good thing for me because it's not even a specialist in that kind of lens so the good news was prescription drugs for the most part were way cheaper uh, at least half off except for one prescription for me which is cabaret goal line and uh, that one was three times as high so don't assume just coming down here that you're going to be able to for sure 100% of the time uh, have it be cheaper looks to me like the rarer drugs aren't cheaper and the more common type prescriptions like hormone replacement uh, antibiotics ibuprofen uh, muscle relaxers all these kind of different things tend to be a lot cheaper so at least half from what I was noticing and then uh, the uh, stuff like my cabaret goal line was three times as much so yeah anyways for for our trip it was worth coming down here but I the big thing I wanted to do here is not possible and I'm not a hundred percent surprised just a friend of ours said he thought that they for sure could do it and um, no they can't get out there connect with people live your big story make sure you do something every single day to reduce world suck peace guys peace and love without you my friend can I tell you all about it when I see you again we come a long way from where we began. Oh, I tell.